Well, there's a bittersweet celebration taking place right now as people remember a Stearns County School. In May, a Holy Cross School in the town of Marty had its last day ever. The Diocese of St. Cloud made the decision to close the 117-year-old school. But teachers and parents say that the closure came out of nowhere. John Lordson shows us what it means as they scramble to find new jobs and new schools. We were blindsided, yes. Uh, no one had a clue this was coming. Three generations of Al House's family have gone to Holy Cross. In February, House says teachers and students were told they would be back in the fall. But two months later, they got a decree from the bishop ordering the school to be closed for good. We did have new families coming next year. It was increasing. Enrollment was increasing next year. Um, I, we just still have not heard from the bishop an exact reason why. In a statement, Bishop Donald Kettler said the decision to close Holy Cross was not an easy one. He pointed to changing demographics, diminishing enrollments, and other barriers as reasons for the decision. The average class size was about 10 students, but school leaders say those numbers were trending up. For teachers and students, it's now a matter of what's next. Some are scrambling to find new jobs and new schools before the fall. This is where I get emotional because I'm used to all my kids. And they're gone. First and second grade teacher Ann Simula says she isn't sure what she'll do next. The school is the heart of this community all over, and our heart's broken. Katie Calhoun taught kindergarten and first grade at Holy Cross for 27 years. She just found a new teaching job in Richmond, but she'll miss helping these students grow mentally and spiritually. I can teach how I want to teach. It's not a curriculum that makes you a great teacher, it's how you meet the needs of the students. I always believe God has a plan. I've shed my tears, and now it's time to move on. In Stearns County, John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. The school serves students pre-K through 6th grade and was known for specializing in students with dyslexia. A memorial celebration with Holy Cross alumni is being held tonight at the school from 5 until 7.